Hey everybody, it is uh, Friday, January 15. Hope you are doing well and that the week uh, has gone well for you. Hope you were able to uh, get through that crazy windstorm we had the other day. Uh, my goodness, that was, uh, that was something else. The new reality for me of of experience that kind of wind. I've lived in places uh, noticeably or notably uh, up in Alaska. We had that kind of wind uh, from time to time, and uh, it was a reminder <laughs> of what that was like for sure. Uh, being in your house and kind of hearing uh, the the rafters kind of shake and move, and wondering if the trees are going to uh, to come down. And obviously, quite a few of them did in our area. So I don't say that overly humorously. Actually, I know it's a real it's a it's a real possibility. So um, quite a quite a quite an experience. So anyway, we've made it through to the other side, and uh, we're looking at Psalm 92 today. Psalm 92. Uh, and there's a word in the psalm toward the end of the psalm itself uh, that, I, that I'm, I'm intrigued by. And the word is flourish. Flourish. What do you think of when you, think, when you hear the word flourish? Um, what does it take for something to flourish? What does it take for an animal or a plant to flourish? Some of you are gardeners. Uh, and you spend a lot of time, especially in the spring, tending uh, to plants, and, and, and you're all about creating an environment that allows the plants to flourish. Um, young, young people, we, we dedicate ourselves to young people and education to try to set them up so that they can learn and grow and experience, uh, experience their learning in a flourishing environment so that they can become... Uh, become more more of uh, of who they're going to be those types of things so so listen for that word uh, in this passage and it'll come toward the end um, but let's go ahead and take a moment to sort of quiet ourselves and settle our hearts and our minds to hear this passage Psalm 92, a psalm, a song for the Sabbath day. It is good to praise the Lord and to make music to your name, O Most High, proclaiming your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night to the music of the ten-stringed lair and the melody of the harp. For you make me glad by your deeds, O Lord. I sing for joy at what your hands have done. How great are your works, O Lord! How profound your thoughts! The senseless do not know, fools do not understand, that though the wicked spring up like grass, and all evildoers flourish, they will be destroyed forever. But you, Lord, are forever exalted. For surely your enemies, Lord, surely your enemies will perish, evildoers will be scattered. You have exalted my horn like that of a wild ox. Fine oils have been poured on me. My eyes have seen the defeat of my adversaries. My ears have heard the rout of my wicked foes. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. They will still bear fruit in an old age. They will stay fresh and green proclaiming, the Lord is upright, he is my rock, and there is no wickedness in him. These images of trees, palm trees and cedars, the cedars of Lebanon. Uh, we know something about uh, those types of trees, not palm trees, but cedars. Uh, in this neck of the woods, uh, we look speaking of trees falling over um, but the fact that most of them the vast most the vast majority of them did not fall over uh, during that crazy windstorm reminds us of its of, of the strength that a that a well-rooted tree has a, a flourishing tree can stand uh, the greatest of storms the greatest of, of, of gales and situations that would push it and prod it and stress it and yet it still stands because of those those deep roots and and the in this passage the the setting which creates the flourishing life for our 
or our, our writer uh, is is worship, worship in the sanctuary, worship uh, in the house of the Lord. It is good to give worship. It is good to worship. Um, good to praise the Lord and to make music to Your name. It's our giving of ourselves to God in this act of uh, act of worship is what uh, roots us in God's reality and gives us the 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 life that we need uh, to flourish in the world. Well, let's um, take a moment to, to pray for our day. Uh, God has created a day and put it before us and uh, invites us to, to live in ways that would cause um, God's kingdom to come about, flourishing life. Let's go ahead and pray. Loving God, we, uh, we thank you for this invitation to, to flourish in life to be people rooted and grounded in, in, in you as our primary reality. We are your people. You created us. You breathe life into us. You give us all that we need to grow and to live and to learn, to be about the loving work of your world, bringing about your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, today we pray for our world, we pray for our nation, for our community, for our neighborhood. Lord, for the deep division that exists in our country, we pray that you would bring your spirit, a spirit of healing, of unity and wholeness. Lord, that you would help us uh, to, to name our wounds and to seek healing for them. Lord, that we would not look at each other as competitors or enemies, but as sisters and brothers with a shared, with a, with a shared neighborhood. Lord, help us to, to show your love as we live. Help us to exhibit the grace and the peace and the hope and the justice and the righteousness that you call us to. Help us to flourish in our lives to not just get by, but to live uh, eternal uh, into eternal realities. Help us to see the bigger perspective and picture of what you're doing in this world. And so God, for this day, as we step into it, as we step into the day, will you give us all that we need? Will you root us and ground us in your love? Cause us to be people who love and serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Help us to be people who love the others that you place in our lives. For this we give you thanks and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks again for uh, being a part of these devotions. I hope they continue to be meaningful to you. Uh, God bless you as you go through the weekend. Uh, and we will look for you again next week. Uh, take care, and we will see you soon.